Yo guys, what is up? It's Quick Grits here. Today we're gonna be doing part two of Sepia Tears Midwinter's Reprise. We're gonna go ahead and just jump up in this thing. All right guys, let's go ahead and do it. All right. We walked alone for the next few minutes and I tried to nonchalantly wave goodbye. Oh, okay, all right. So we're walking um, Lillian home, I think. Yeah, so, um, all right. I can't shake the feeling that something was off about her today. Maybe I'm imagining things thanks to the voice in my head, but she almost she almost seemed as tense as me. Huh. <sighs> I'd better head back before Ren starts worrying. I turned to walk home, but Mark <sighs> Okay, that's it. The world just isn't normal today. Mark It's the ghost of winter's past. All right, I'm getting to the bottom of this. I walk for a few seconds and pretend not to notice before spinning around. Oh, it's her. Is it Sepia? Is that her name? It's a girl. <laughs> Save the girl! She stands out, long purple hair and a red ribbon, swaying in the breeze. She appears in an alleyway to my left and I see her lips move. Uh, Alright, she wants us to follow her. The minute I step towards her, she points to her right. It's the road that leads back to my school. I look back at her, or at least I would have had she not already disappeared. That arrogant... Alright, now she's really done it. I'll run through this town all night if I have to. You're messing with the wrong guy. You're, rest you're messing with Marky Mark. Marky Mark. Alright, so we're running. Before I realize it, the sky darkens and clouds drift in. From time to time, I catch a glimpse of something white out of the corner of my eye, but it disappears before I can identify it. She's deliberately dashing through the side streets, and she always seems to be exactly one street ahead of me. I gasp for breath as I reach the school building. The girl stands daintily at its entrance. You! Stop! She grins and runs inside. She has a graceful quality about her. I say run, but it's more like she's gliding. Of course, that's not going to stop me. No ghost girl is going to stop me. I'm going to beat this ghost girl's ass. That's what we're going to do today. I catch a glimpse of her feet at the bottom of the staircase. To the left hall? You're running out of places to run. Stairs? Again? No, wait. These are stairs to the roof. Why is the door unlocked in the first place? I swear, like, in every anime, manga, anything like that, like... The, the school rooftop just seems to, like, to be the place to congregate. I don't know why, but it's just something that they do, I guess. No matter. It's over now. The sky turned black before I realized it, and snow drifts cautiously down. The last piece of the puzzle falls into place. The purple-haired -haired girl, the snow, the black sky... Oh, this is like at the very beginning of the, um... Of the, uh, of the visual novel when we were having like our dream or whatever. I saw it all, yep, I saw it all in my dream. Aw, she's kawaii. The girl looks at me from the edge of the roof. Don't do it, Sepia. You got more to live for, girl. Thank you for following me, Mark. Oh, how many things should I be yelling at her for right now? But I can't. My mind isn't functioning like it should. Scattered images from a time I'd rather forget flash through it. First of all, let me apologize for luring you out like this. It was the only way I could talk to you alone. She steps closer. Of all the things I want to say, only one line comes out. Who are you? Don't worry yourself over minor de- Minor details? Okay. You will remember me soon enough. Soon enough? What kind of vague hint is that? The past will fall into place eventually. It has a habit of doing that. She pauses and looks up at the sky. The snow collects on her hair. You might not remember me yet, but I remember you. I've been waiting to see you for a long, long time. She points her eyes at me, and I can't look away. Will you help me, Mark? 
Will you accompany me long enough for you to recover your memories? That's a strange request. My thoughts vanish. I nod unthinkingly. Come on, Mark. You don't need to be easily swayed like that. I will, but first you owe me something. Tell me your name. Sepia. It's Sepia. I feel her warmth before we even touch. She walks up to me and pauses an inch away, breath turning into mist. Mi Mira, it's, who's Sepia then? Who the fuck is Sepia? I've been calling this girl Sepia the whole time. Alright, so Mira. Or Myra. Or we're just going to call her Mira. I hear her name, and her ribbon flutters before me. The memories taunt me. I've seen her. Seen this, but... A cold breeze strikes me as she steps back. I'll visit you someday soon. In the meantime, if you need me, come to this rooftop by yourself when the sky turns black. If you call out to me, I'll come to you. Is she like a ghost? Or a vampire? What are you, a vampire? Maybe. A goat? See, me and Mark just had this, this mental connection. I don't know. I don't know why. Because he's kind of a cynical asshole, and I'm... I don't, I don't think I'm a cynical asshole, but... Um, she smiles faintly. I'll leave that up to you. One by one, her footsteps grow distant. Well then, goodbye, my... Her final words are lost as she step, steps off the edge of the roof. Wait, steps off the edge of the roof? What the... I dash to the edge of the roof as fast as I can and look down. But there's nothing. Not even a footprint on the freshly fallen snow. So we're dealing with like a vampire ghost, ghost, ghost girl, ghost thotty. My head is spinning. I don't want to think. I don't want to think. I don't want to. It's there. It's there and it keeps coming back. I see her and what was it called? What was it that she called herself? The person I wish I never met? Is she here to haunt me? But then why do I feel so? The girl in the sunset watches me, like a figure in a faded photograph. She watches me, like a portrait, like yourself in a house of mirrors, watching, always watching. She just won't blink. And while, all the while, the snow continues to fall. Mira's figure dances through my mind, trapping me somewhere between curiosity and awe. It's the beginning of winter. As the snow dusts the city streets, I can't put, uh, blah, 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 blah. I can't help imagining that her footprints will turn up very, very soon. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to get better at this uh, whole reading thing, you know. I haven't read out loud since, like, junior year of high school, so it's been a second. Oh. All right, day two, winter strolls. Darkness. The blackness is thick, mud-like. I look around, but it's clear that I'm not the only one here, or that I'm the only one here. But there should be another. She might enjoy hide-and-seek, but I have a hunch that she isn't very good at it. My heart races alongside my feet. What's wrong with this music? Ooh. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I feel like I'm about to go to battle. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. All right, I'm down, I'm down. Or, what's going on? My body feels light. Just a little more. She's close. I know it. The song. I know I've heard it before. But where? Ah! ah, ah. Rin, I'm warning you. If that song continues for another minute, I'll... Who the heck leaves their ringtone on Max on a Saturday morning? Oh, it's Rin's... She had a ball and ringtone. I wish I could have that. <laughs> the next thing I hear is the sound of rushing water as I prepare for the morning. There's something odd about the lucidity of that dream. Two days in a row. Unless this is Mira's doing, somehow. Except no. This can't be anything more than a coincidence. I'll approach it logically. For one thing, I never did figure out how she disappeared from the roof. She couldn't have jumped to the ground from that distance. 
Much less without a single footprint. Footprint. There was a soft noise after she jumped, but that was it. Mark, she's a ghost, Mark. She's a ghost. Can't be messing with ghost bodies. Maybe she jumped onto a balcony or something. But then where did she vanish to? Although the real question is, why would anyone do that to begin with? She knew what school I went to. Does she know where I live? She somehow knew what route I take home. But if she knows me, why do I not recognize her? Hmm. No. No, no. This is all wrong. The, the dream doesn't make sense. None of this makes sense. It doesn't even matter. If she wants to dig up my memory, she'll have to try harder than that. Hold up, guys. I'm about to drink a little bit. A little bit of H2O. I get parched reading. All right, then. Breakfast. I'm up before Ren for once. This is, this is more of a rare occurrence than it should be. Morning. Oh, Onicha. <laughs> I glare at her. She stops. So, was that one of your friends calling this morning? Uh, yeah, sort of. I told her to call last night, but she missed me, so. She scratches the back of her head and gives her best, oops, sorry look. You know, that ringtone of yours woke me up this morning. Really? Sorry. That's not bad for a fake blush, but it's not superb. Six out of ten. Would not recommend. Did I mention that I was having a nice dream when I was so rudely awoken? Oh, were you dreaming about Lillian? Oh, he knows. Or she knows. Mark, Mark has like a little cr crush on Lillian, I think. Of course not. I slam the coffee mug down, but it doesn't earn as much as a flinch. Oh, so you weren't dreaming about her? Then what are you complaining about? By the way, you were going to Lucas's place to study, right? The tables have turned. Hmm, perhaps. Okay. You're going to fail your exams and repeat the year with me in your class, then. Yeah, we better go study. <laughs> well then, you know what you have to do. I bet we're going to go over there and not even, like, do anything. We're just going to go over there and, like, hear Lucas talk about his video games. It's cold. M Mark, I'm the one who should be saying that. It's freezing. Neither of us are willing to step into the attack range of the icy wind. Are you sure you want to go through with this? It's not like we're actually going to step... See? Mark, Mark even knows. I'm on this mental wavelength with Mark. And I like it. I like being able to think like, like our, uh, our protagonist. I know, but he's got the new Couple Axel game. Don't you understand? What the hell is a Couple Axel? It's, it's cheap Japanese style censorship. They'll never guess what we're really talking about. And who exactly is they? Well, little, little fourth wall breaking, I think. You know, them. No one's listening. Although with Mira around, I can't be so sure. I walk, Ren and I walk over to Lucas's place without any mishaps. Plus or minus a few fro frozen fingers. Oh, I hope he turned on the heat. I can't play when my fingers are cold. Don't worry, I'm sure he's comfortably huddled up in front of his computer. You'll see. The bell rings and no one answers. What? Hmm, that's odd. I just called and he said he would be here. I'm gonna freeze to death out here. I'm gonna die. Aren't you at least a little worried that I'll freeze to death as well? Oh, Mark, how silly. You know I'll be gone before you. That's not the response I was looking for. Well, it, look like, it looks like there's only one thing we can do. Rin glares mischievously at the front door. Don't you do it, Rin. Don't you fucking do it. It's not your property, Rin. I have a bad feeling about this. One, two. Did they break into his house? Ah, what's this? A heavenly silhouette has come to harvest my soul already. Life is is what it is, I suppose. Goodbye, cruel world. I can't do that. Ouch! What just happened? I'm greeted by Ren's 
worried face. Alright, that's enough. I'm alive already. No need to curse me any further. That was dangerous. Don't you know that you shouldn't lunge at someone's door? At someone's feet with your temple? Someone should have... Wait, well, hold up. Okay. Someone could have gotten hurt. Sorry about that. Someone. Her eyes do seem a little teary, though. Rin, just so you know, it isn't polite to, polite to charge into other people's front doors without permission. Oh. I'm sorry. This makes the pulsing in my head a tad more bearable. Or maybe it's just the cold. Oh, look, there he is. Hey, what's up? Lucas? Alright. Sorry, I'm late. I had to run out and grab some things for lunch. Did I keep you waiting long? He looks around. There's an indentation in the snow scattered around his walkway. Ren is leaning on her left foot because her right is sore from the impact. And I'm too dizzy to tell what's happening. He looks from the indentation, to Ren, to my head, then back to the indentation. Then he shrugs and unlocks the door. I like Lucas. Lucas is our boy. My boy, at least. Grab whatever you want to eat. I'll meet you in my room in a few minutes. Alright, snacks. Alright. I need some snacks. I start to thaw as we step inside. Ooh, he got the new Chaco and Ice book. Guess her guilt's worn off already. She scampers into Lucas's room and begins snooping around. I'm surrounded by 2D girls. This is heaven. Literally heaven. I escape from Rin before my soul gets sucked out of me. Hmm. In the middle of the mess sits a cluttered desk with a glowing monitor. A glowing monitor. So he left his computer on and unguarded, I see. I admit that I'm curious, but am I that curious? <gasps> Ooh. Choices! We got choices, guys! Alright, alright. Um, what do we want to do here? This is this is so awesome. This is like the first choice that we've gotten to make. Alright, I'm pretty damn curious. We are pretty curious. Not even close. Mm, you know what? We don't we don't want to go through his personal belongings and stuff. You know his like, you know hentai or whatever he's got on his computer. So we'll just we'll just leave him alone. Because we know Lucas is a weird individual. I, I don't want to ruin our friendship. No 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 way. I'm dodging this bullet by a mile. Well, I guess that's the end of that. Lucas brings us a few glasses of water. Water? Sorry, a little more water. And sits down. I would ask why he only has water when he just came back from the grocery store, but he probably has other uses for his money. It's art, not porn! <laughs> so, have you guys decided what you want to do? We can always take turns beating Mark in that new fighting game. Sounds like a plan. Don't I get a say in any of this? Alright, so we're doing exactly what we knew we were going to be doing. Not studying. It's been a while. I remember when Ren and I used to come over here all the time, doing nothing but sitting around and chatting over some video games. It's strange, but part of me feels like those days have vanished. Are they gone forever? They couldn't be. But even if we're doing the same old things, I can't help but glance out the window from time to time. Mostly when my chest tightens. Aw, Mark, you're blushing. I'm not. Right, three years ago. It's alright, I'm not teasing you. Well, maybe just a little. It's strange. I was different back then, but she's hardly changed at all. Cut it out already, I'm not in the mood. Of course you'd say that. Maybe so, but that doesn't make it any less true. Don't you have anything to do? Uh, not really. Unless you count homework. You've been on the computer all day, haven't you? I noticed you didn't end that sentence with a question mark. <laughs> she has been. She's been on the computer playing her games. But school is boring. Besides, it's not like you're doing anything other than moping around. I told you, I'm not. Her expression stops me in my tracks. I'm going upstairs. Leave me alone. Fine. I'll just bother you again tomorrow. 
I turn to leave, but I feel her eyes on my back. I walk away. That was me. It's real. Was that really how I felt back then? It all seems to have faded over time. Or maybe I just got numb. But that's no excuse to have not ignored her like that. I'm sure she knows. She's not that dense. Someday, I owe her a nice long talk. I want her to know that I care about her. I don't care about you anymore, Mark. <sighs> uh, did, did I win? You won. Huh. Who'd have thought? <laughs> Hold up, I got like an eyelash in my eye. Sorry about this, guys. Alright, I think we're good. Uh, just you wait. I'll have my revenge next time. You say that every time. Fine, then. Again. I'll try again. <sighs> we're going to be here for a while, aren't we? By the time we left, our final score was 7-2. to two For her. Oh, Nichan! Stop thinking so much. It's bad for your complexion. I don't... I don't know if that's necessarily true. What? Oh. I guess we're already on the train. Complexion aside, yeah, I guess you're right. Right about what? The fact that you should stop thinking about Lillian? How can you say that with a straight face? Years of practice. Ah. Anyways, that's not what I was thinking about. I see. Then were you thinking of a way to admit to Lucas that you want to borrow one of his games? Let's just say that I've had a lot to think about lately. I think that's, sufficient, that's sufficiently vague and truthful. Yeah, figures. Her voice trails off as she sinks into the background. If that doesn't say out of character, I don't know what does. Um, you okay, Ren? Huh? Of course, I'm fine. You're the one I was worried about. Did you just say you were work? Aw, Ren's worried about us. How cute. I like Ren. She's um, she's a good character. Mark's kind of just a, a dick to her every now and then. <sighs> no. You're not actually mad, are you? Of course I'm mad. Doesn't the pop vein make it obvious? <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just so rare that I get a chance to tease you. It doesn't count as teasing when you're cheating. How exactly am I cheating? I haven't figured it out yet, but you are. Seriously, I try to mess with you by snapping you out of your daydream and this is what I get? Not bad, huh? I admit, that was a good play. Wait, so this was all planned to get to mess with my head? I, I actually wasn't worried about you or anything. I just didn't want you to fall asleep on some poor girl's shoulder. I guess I shouldn't remind her that I'm standing, not sitting. That aside, what made you think that there was a reason to be worried? Well, you've been zoning out a lot lately, and you were gazing out the window like an actor in a soap opera. And you've been distant lately. That's all. Don't be sad, Ren. We're just, we're just kind of a douche. That's it. Sorry. Oh no, it's, it's no big deal. You have your own life, and I know there are things that you wouldn't tell me about. Don't say it like that. It won't be long, alright? There's something I need to sort out. That's all. The train screeches to a halt at our destination. Ren grins as she pulls Lucas off his gaming device, but I can tell it's a thin coat of paint. It's uncomfortably cold. Not bitterly cold, but uncomfortably. Just cold enough to make you wish you'd brought gloves when your breath is very uh, barely visible. It's the late fall equivalent of those drizzly days that you can't quite decide if it's worth taking out your umbrella. It's nostalgic. I pace back and forth to clear my mind, but it doesn't work. It's been years since I've seen him. Years. Oh, 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 oh. okay. All right, so we're like, we're in probably Mira's perspective. I should be excited, but something feels off. Yep, we are in the mirror. All right. Gosh, it's cold. I'm not sure what I was expecting. Was he supposed to be the star of the football team? An emotional wreck? Just another guy? There's no way he's forgotten everything that happened. I was struck with the strangest feeling when I talked to him the other day. 
He was mesmerized, of course, but his eyes were empty. It was like staring through frosted glass, virtually opaque. But I can't lose focus yet. I just wish I could shake the feeling that he isn't the uh, who he used to be. I guess three years is a long time. Are we at like a mall? Maybe? Alright. Mark, look, we're finally here. Where are we going? The, the what? <laughs> Girl A. Alright. Feel free to browse, everyone. New customers are always appreciated. Nipa! <laughs> yes, yes, you'll be amazed. We have an endless amount of products. It's time. It's time. The Golden Land awaits us. This is the mall, okay. See, I'm just, I'm all over this today. Just so I'm clear, this is a store, right? Well, yes. Okay, just checking. Well then, I don't really want to ditch them, but when I consider the possibility of what's behind those doors. All right, oh, another choice, okay. Go in with them or stay far, far away. Um, you know what, let's, let's be a good big brother and friend and go enjoy, you know, the things that they enjoy, alright? Alright, I'll bite the bullet, kick common sense to the curb and what have you. I'm going in. I think I've heard Lucas mention that game. Maybe they're lining up for pre-orders? As I wander to the back of the store in search of wherever Ren and Lucas vanished to, I stumble upon bits and pieces of conversation. I'm telling you, dude, it's gonna be fucking awesome. Pre-orders are going up next week. It's gonna be fucking rad! <laughs> I hear the TV station site has an exclusive pillow cover, too. Huh? I even know a guy who can get it across the border for you. I'm out of here. A gust of cold breeze strikes my cheek. The hell? I look up and I find myself outside. Daydreams are a powerful thing. Okay, what now? The air cools my lungs with every breath, but it's refreshing, refreshing in its own way. It isn't too late yet, but the sun is already starting to set. Refreshed, I decide to take the scenic route back to the mall entrance. <gasps> oh, Lillian! Did I just catch a glimpse of a UFO? <laughs> What's she doing? Oh no, sorry. It's just daydreaming Lillian. Oh, hey Mark. It's strange to see you out on a Saturday. Shopping with Ren, I suppose? She blurts out a barrage of words. I might regret, regret asking this, but what were you thinking about just now? Nothing you need to worry about. She tries to glare angrily at me, but I, can, I can't quite say that it's working. It wouldn't happen to do much with that shopping bag on the bench next to you. Of course not. Anyways, what are you doing out here? This isn't exactly weather for lounging. It's not weather for strolling either. You're sharp as ever. Me? Sharp? I'm not like this around everyone. So awkward. Here, little, little H2O again. Yeah, they're, they're very awkward. I guess it's just because they're introverted but I still like Lillian she's a she's probably I don't know if I had to rank my favorite character right now Mark's probably at the bottom because I don't like Mark that much he's just bland and he's kind of a dick and then I'd say probably my favorite character is it's a tie either between Lucas and Lillian right now because we don't know much about Mira Ren's she's all right she's you know she's cool or whatever but I really like Mark and, or not Mark, Lucas and Lillian, so. But let's continue. What, is there something on my face? Well, um, no, it's just, that sounded more coherent in my head. See, I'm only sharp around my slow-witted friends. I wouldn't go out of my way to, slow-witted? I'm not dumb, Lillian. I'm a smart cookie. So that's what she meant. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean. Ah, I laugh a resigned laugh. It's alright. Don't worry about it. 
I know you weren't implying anything. You're right. Sorry. You don't need to apologize. <sighs> it's futile. Anyway, let's go for a walk. Ooh, okay. All right, Mark. Throw a spit some game. Sure. I'm just about fully rested. Right. Let's go. I look away unconsciously as my stomach flips out itself over. Jesus. <sighs> I can't believe I sat there for so long. It's cold. Yeah, it is. Ren and I almost died this morning. Um, what? It's nothing you need to worry about. I guess some stories are better left untold. Though that reminds me, my head seems to have stopped hurting. We can go inside if you want. I'm sure they'll be able to find us. No, no, it's, it's alright. Besides, it's a nice day, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, I guess it is. I fidget with whatever I can find in my pocket. Um, so how are things with the library committee? Oh, we haven't had anything to do, anything much to do for a while. Things are winding down for the holidays. And I suppose you have no need to worry about midterms? Well, I usually spend about an hour a day studying, so there's no need to worry about tests. Schoolwork is easy once you study regularly. I know what she's going to say before she even says it. Shouldn't you be worrying about your test, Mark? Um, I'll get through it somehow. Wait, let me explain. You see, some people are born hardworking and others aren't. I happen to fall into the latter category. Me and you both, Mark. <laughs> That's your explanation? She shouts and hits me on the head. Literally. You know, if you don't work hard now, you'll never be able to get into a good university. And if you don't do that, you'll never get a good job. And you'll never make any good money. Doesn't this even bother you a little? Well, I guess you could say it bothers me a, a little bit. It doesn't really bother me at all. <sighs> You're doing badly enough as it is. What would happen if I weren't here to keep you on your toes like this? I'd probably be sleeping on the roof at school and playing video games at home, actually. You'd probably sneak onto the roof at school to snap nap your classes away and waste your time at home on games. That's what you'd be doing. She knows us so well. They're like, they're, they're the perfect couple. I'm, I, ship, I ship Mark and Lillian so much. Good. Honestly, you'd be helpless without me. Then I suppose it's a good thing that I have you around. Ah. Uh, silence. The crowd, the traffic, the constant droning of nature all disappear. You're right. It really is a good thing. But if you seriously want to repay me, all you have to do is take care of yourself. Right. I've taken a sharp breath of cold air, which is why I need to cool my cheeks. You should come... You should come over. I mean... You want me to, Lily? I, I can come over anytime you want me to. Anytime this week. Or, shh. Anytime this week. <laughs> Alright, fine. I, I go, I'll come over every day. And I'll help you review. Come on, man. I don't want to do no homework. Mark doesn't want to do any homework. Oh, uh, sure. That would help. Um, That's fine with you, right? Yeah. My voice vanishes in a puff of condensation as the sun strikes my eyes. And... What is this? Aww. Hang on. I shouldn't lie to you. I'm not only asking you over... Not only asking you over to study. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Hit me with whatever you need. Need to hit me with, Lillian. I open my mouth, but nothing comes out. It's just like it was with Mira. Constraining. Suffocating. Dizzying. There's something that I need to tell you. Love confession, maybe? <clears throat> you you don't mind, right? No, I... I mean... Or maybe I shouldn't. It'll make things more complicated. It's okay. I'll listen. I squint into the sunset. I hear her, silently. Are you sure? Won't this be a burden on you? 
Am I making the right choice? Are you sure you're ready to face your past? But in the end, it's probably just the sound of my own monologue. Thank you, Mark. Her words turn to condensation before I can hear them. I think I might really need your help. I'll protect you no matter what. That line crosses my mind, though of course I could never bring myself to say it. Say it, Mark. I can say it. I'll do what I can to help. Come on, Mark. As if it were not all... As if it were all nothing more than a daydream, she steps towards me and the world starts spinning again. I'm still not sure what I'll do, but I'd appreciate it if you could come over. Even if it's only as a favor. Don't worry about it. Besides, I always owe you favors, don't I? Yeah, guys, so I think we're going to end the uh, episode here. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Um, hit that you know like button if you haven't subbed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell I think it's a little bell um, too to be notified whenever I put out videos like this it's been really fun so far I've really enjoyed this visual novel um, I can uh, I can see I kind of see where everything's coming to you know I feel like Lily and I don't I don't know I feel like she might like confess confess her love to us or something like that maybe I don't know but let's find out in the next one. Anyways, guys, y'all take it easy. Peace out.